Uh, are you recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Uh, hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm a say a blessing. Blessed art thou, don't really new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, and girded ourselves with the words of Torah. Please let Donai let you see in the words of your Torah in our mouths, in the mouths of all our people, Israel, all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake, fulfilling your desire. Blessed you, Donai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed you, Donai, let you. King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah, bless to you, Donai, give her the Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. May Donai make his presence and lend you. May be kind to you. May Donai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is... Hang on. Yeah, come on. Up. There we go. No. Up. Sav. Which is command, and our first read for this one is Leviticus six one through eight thirty six, with emphasis on six eight. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, "Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. The burnt offering shall be on the hearth on the altar all night until the morning." And the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment and put his linen undergarment on his body. And he shall take up the ashes to which the fire has reduced the burnt offering on the altar and put them beside the altar. Then he shall take off his garments and put on other garments and carry the ashes outside the camp to a clean place. The fire in the altar shall be kept burning on it. It shall never go out. The priest shall burn wood on it every morning and he shall arrange the burnt offering on it and shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings fire shall be kept burning on the altar continually it shall not go out and this is the law of the game and this is the law of the grain offering the sons of Aaron shall offer it before Yahweh in front of the altar and one shall take from it a handful of fine flour of grain offering and its oil and all the frankincense that is on the grain offering and burn this as a memorial portion to the altar sorry on the altar a pleasing aroma to Yahweh and the rest of, of it Aaron and his son shall eat it shall be eaten unleavened in the, a holy place in the court of the tent of the meeting they shall eat it it shall not be baked with leaving I have given it as a portion of my food offerings. It is a thing most holy, like the sin offering and the guilt offering. Every male among the children of Aaron may eat of it, as a creed forever throughout your generations from Yahweh's food offering. Whoever touches them shall become holy. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, This is the offering that Aaron and his son shall offer to Yahweh on a day when he is anointed, a tenth of an ephah of fine flour as regular grain offering, half of it in the morning and half of it in the evening. It shall be made with oil on a griddle. You shall bring it well mixed and baked pieces like a grain offering and, and offering it for a pleasing aroma to Yahweh. The priest from among Aaron's sons who is anointed to succeed him shall offer it to Yahweh as decreed forever. The whole of it shall be burned. Every grain offering of a priest shall be wholly burned. It shall not be eaten. <coughs> Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, shall the sin offering be killed before Yahweh. It is most holy. The priest who offers it for sin shall eat it. In a holy place it shall be eaten in the court of the tent of the meeting. Whatever, whatever touches its flesh shall be holy. And when any of its blood is splashed on a garment, you shall wash that on which it was splashed in a holy place. An earthenware vessel in which it is boiled shall be broken. If it is boiled in a bronze vessel, that shall be scoured and rinsed in water. Every male among the priests may eat of it. It is most holy, but no sin offering shall be eaten from which any blood is brought up 
into the tent of the meeting to make atonement for the holy place. It shall be burned up with fire. This is the law of the guilt offering. It is most holy. In a place where they kill the burnt offering, they shall kill the guilt offering. And its blood shall be thrown against the sides of the altar. And all its fat shall be offered, the fat tail, the fat that covers the entrails, the two kidneys with the fat that is on them at the loins, and the lobes, the long lobes of the long lobe of the liver, that he shall remove with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as a food offering to Yahweh. It is a guilt offering. Every male among the priests may eat of it. It shall be eaten, eaten in a holy place. It is most holy. The guilt offering is just like the sin offering. There is one law for them. The priest who makes atonement with it shall have it. And the priest who offers any man's burnt offering shall have for himself the skin of the burnt offering that he has offered. And every grain offering baked in the oven and all that is prepared on a pan or a griddle shall belong to the priest who offers it. And every grain offering mixed with oil or dry shall be shared equally among the sons of Aaron. This is the law of the sacrifice of the peace offerings, that one may offer to Yahweh. If he offers it for thanksgiving, then he shall offer it with the thanksgiving sacrifice, unleavened loaves mixed with oil, and leavened wafers smeared with oil, the loaves of fine flour well mixed with oil. With the sacrifices of his peace offerings for thanksgiving, he shall bring his offering with loaves of, unle of leavened bread. <coughs> And from it he shall offer one loaf from each offering as a gift to Yahweh. It shall belong to the priest who throws the blood of the peace offerings. And the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving shall be eaten on the day of his offering. He shall not leave any of it until morning, but if the sacrifice of his offering is a vow offering or a free will offering, it shall be eaten on the day that he offers his sacrifice. And on the next day what remains shall be eaten. But what remains of the flesh of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burned up with fire. If any of the flesh of the sacrifice of this holy peace offering is eaten on the third day, he who offers it shall not be accepted, neither shall it be credited to him. It is tainted. And he who eats of it shall bear his iniquity. Flesh that touches any unclean thing shall not be eaten, it shall be burned up with fire. All who are clean may eat flesh. But the person who eats the flesh of the sacrifice of Yahweh's peace offering, while an uncleanliness is on him, that person shall be cut off from his people. If anyone touches an unclean thing, whether human uncleanliness, or an unclean beast, or any unclean detestable creature, and then eat some of the flesh from the sacrifice of Yahweh's peace offering, that person shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, You shall not eat the fat of an ox, or sheep, or goat, the fat of an animal that dies of itself, and the fat of one that is torn by beasts, may be put to another, to any other use, but not to account, but on no account shall you eat it. For every person who eats of the fat of an animal of which a food offering may be made to Yahweh shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, you shall eat no blood, whatever, whether of fowl or of animal, or in any of your dwelling places. Whoever eats any blood, that person shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, Whoever offers the sacrifice of the peace offering to Yahweh shall bring his offering to Yahweh from the sacrifice of his peace offerings. His own hand shall bring Yahweh's food offering. He shall bring the fat with the beasts, that the beast may be waved as a wave offering before Yahweh. The priest shall burn the fat on the altar, but the beast shall be for Aaron and his sons. And the right thigh you shall give to the priest as a contri contribution from the sacrifice of your peace offerings. Whoever among the sons of Aaron offers the, food, the blood of the peace offering and the fat shall have the right thigh for a portion. For the beast that is waved and the thigh that is contributed I have taken from the people of Israel out of the sacrifices of their peace offerings. 
And I've given them to Aaron the priest and to his sons as a perpetual due from the people of Israel. This is a portion of Aaron, of his sons, from Yahweh's food offering. From the day they were presented to serve as priests, Yahweh commanded them to be given them this to be given them by the people of Israel. From the day that he anointed them, it is a perpetual due throughout their generation. This is the law of the burnt offering, of the grain offering, and of the sin offering, of the guilt offering, and of the ordination offering, and the peace offering, which Yahweh commanded Moses on Mount Sinai on the day that he commanded the people of Israel to bring their offerings to Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, and the garments, and the anointing oil, and the bull of the sin offerings, and the two rams, and the basket of unleavened bread, and assemble all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Moses did as Yahweh commanded him. And the congregation was assembled at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Moses said to the congregation, This is the thing that Yahweh has commanded to be done. And Moses brought Aaron and his sons, and washed them with water, and he put the coat on him, and tied the sash around his waist, and clothed him with a robe, and put the ephod on him, and tied the skillfully woven band of the ephod around him, binding it to him with a band. And he placed the breastpiece on him, and in the breastpiece he put the Urim and the Tumen. And he set the turban on his head, and on the turban in front he set the golden plate, the holy crown, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Then Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was in it and consecrated them. And he sprinkled some of it on the altar seven times and anointed the altar and all its utensils and the basin and its sand to consecrate them. And he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's hand, sorry, head, and anointed him to consecrate him. And Moses brought Aaron's son and clothed them with the coats and tied their sashes around their waists and bound caps on them, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Then he brought the bull of the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the bull of the sin offering, and he killed it. And Moses took the blood and his finger, blood, and with his finger put it on the horns of the altar around it, and purified the altar, and poured out the blood at the base of the altar, and consecrated it to make atonement for it. And he took all the fat that was on the entrails, and on the long lobe of the liver, and the two kidneys with their fat, and Moses burned them up on the altar. But the bull and its skin and its flesh and its dung he burned up with fire outside the camp, as Yahweh commanded Moses. <clears throat> then he presented the ram of the burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram, and he killed it. And Moses threw the blood against the sides of the altar. He cut the ram into pieces, and Moses burned the head into pieces and the fat, and washed the entrails and the legs with water, and Moses burned the whole ram on the altar it was a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma, a food offering to Yahweh as Yahweh commanded Moses. Then he presented the other ram, the ram of ordination, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram, and he killed it, and Moses took some of, the some of its blood and put it on the lobe of Aaron's right ear, and the th on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot, and he presented Aaron's sons. And Moses put some of the blood on the lobes of their ears, and on the thumbs of their right hand, and on their big toes of their right feet. And Moses threw the blood against the sides of the altar. Then he took the fat and the fat tail, and all the fat that was on the entrails, and on the long lobe of the liver, and the two kidneys with their fat, and the right thigh. And out of the basket of unleavened bread that was before Yahweh, he took one unleavened loaf, and one loaf of bread with oil, and one wafer, and placed them on the pieces of fat and on the right thigh, and he put all these in the hands of Aaron and in the hands of his sons and waved them as a wave offering before Yahweh. Then Moses took from them, took them from their hands and burned them on the altar with the burnt offering. This was an ordination offering with a pleasing aroma, a food offering to Yahweh. And Moses took the beast and waved it for a wave offering before Yahweh. It was Moses' portion of the of the ram of ordination as Yahweh commanded Moses. Then Moses took some of the anointing oil and of the blood that was on the altar and sprinkled it on Aaron and his garments and also on his sons and his sons' garments. So he consecrated Aaron and his garments and his sons and his sons' garments with him. And Moses said to Aaron and his sons, Boil the flesh at the center of the tent of meeting, and there eat it in the bread that is in the basket of the ordination 
offerings. As I commanded, saying, Aaron and his son shall eat it, and what remains of the flesh and the bread you shall burn up with fire, and you shall not go outside of the tent of meeting for seven days until the days of your nation are complete, for it will take seven days to ordain you. As has been done today, Yahweh has commanded to be done to make atonement for you. At the entrance of the tent of meeting, you shall remain day and night for seven days, performing what Yahweh has charged, so that you do not die. For so I have, com for so I have been commanded. And Aaron and his sons did all the things that Yahweh commanded Moses. Blessed art thou, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who gives the Torah truth instead of everlasting life in our bitch. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver the Torah, Bukit Adonai, the new Malach Halom, Ashanat, Natan Lenu, Torah, Mevaishi Elom, Natabetta, Kinu, Brukut Adonai, Natin Ha Torah.